Nigel Pearson and also Jean-Luc Festa, who returns tonight after being suspended for Saturday's FA Cup tie. Neil Madison plays in midfield as Phil Stapp is unfit. The referee on a damp night at Elm Park is George Kane from Bootle. Conditions are likely to be very heavy underfoot, but a sizzling atmosphere for this cup tie. Reading getting us underway, attacking the goal to our right. Middlesbrough bidding to reach the semi-finals then for the second year running. But what a send-off it would be for Reading if they can reach the last four in this their last season at their current headquarters before they switch to a brand new stadium. Brian Robson, this is the one domestic honour to have eluded him so far. A League Cup winner's medal. Williams, who's keeping Jason Bowen out of the team, their recent signing from Birmingham. He's among the subs tonight. Get the long ball from Booty, but it's far too close to Steve Vickers. Now Morley. Picknick doing his best to close him down. This is Williams. Morley again. Options in the middle. Among many other honours, too. That's Kinder. Townsend with a flick. Just couldn't release back. But now Hignett. Reaction say that by the goalkeeper. An instinctive flick by Trevor Morley. And it needed that response to deny him a goal. The man who scored the winner up at Allen Road so nearly pounced again. Great little ball in from Swales. Caught Schwarzer in two minds there, but Morley's header angled over the bar. What a dangerous cross. Well met too by Morley. Just couldn't keep it down. Sauber. The game beginning to ignite now. Both teams are going for it. This is James Lambert. Good block though by Musto. Merson. Swept on first time into the path of Hignitz. What a good return pass too. Here's Merson taking on Bernal. No foul. No on, says the referee. And he can't believe it. <laughs> Being held back to his... Back on his feet there by Hammond. Just fell to react to the rebound. Superb effort then from Hignett, and he was very unlucky not to score. Davis didn't really close him down here. He's allowed him a sight of goal, and he's curled that wickedly beyond Hammond. The Italian strikes Gianluca Festa, who went surging through and delivered his shot underneath the goalkeeper. Well, there was confusion here for a moment. The referee ruled it out. What a let off for Reading. I think everybody in the ground thought he'd given the goal. Festa certainly did. Festa still hasn't got his shirt back on. Bowen! And he so nearly won it then for Reading. Breathtaking moments at either end of the field. In goes Bowen. And Schwarzer was perfectly positioned to make the save. Still Fester has been able to put his shirt back on. Well, Brunk. Merson. That's great control. And he's let in Hidden. And surely it's all over now. And Middlesbrough have clinched their place in the semi finals. Heartbreak for Reading. The players all protesting to the referee. They took the kick so quickly. They caught them off guard, Reading. Merson with such a death touch there. 
waited for his moment, waited for Hignett to join in, and well, he was so cool with his finish beyond Nicky Hammond, and this time the goal does stand. Well, Terry Bullivant knows his team have given their all tonight, but it will seem now it's not quite going to be enough. So many stoppages for one reason or another. I just wonder how much time the referee is going to add on. Might still be some way to go. That was Vickers. And Middlesbrough have put their place in the semi-finals thanks to Craig Hignett. Well, he was the villain in the first half when he was cautioned, but now very much the hero for Brian Robson's team. It's been very hard going for them tonight. They thought they'd clinched it earlier when Fester delivered the ball into the back of the net. That was ruled out. But they weren't to be denied.